Okay, so this is going to be the easy way to defeat the four mortal kings, regardless of what your level is. I mean, you're going to want to be over 30 to do this anyway. When you first go through here, you'll have Roland with you. This is the four king locations. You need to go through them to get to the mines. With Roland, it's a little bit easier. He's got the guns, he takes them out, you know, you got a companion with you. Now, you can bypass and just fast forward to the mines if you don't want to, but if you want to kind of grind these guys a little bit, there's actually two ways you can do it. You can. This is going to be the easiest way I'm about to show you, or you can go to the mines and then come back through here. This right here is loaded with green dragons, and you got about four or five flying dragons. They're randomized. Green, red, purples. And then you can come right up here, and this gate will be open, and you can fight them. The only problem is everybody comes running to this gate. You can bottleneck them down here, but, again, you got to be on your toes. Me, personally, I... Once you get to a certain level, this is probably the easiest way. Or you can just run in, jump down, and all of a sudden everybody will show up. Alright, let's do it. Now the biggest problem is that you got those friggin' immortal skeletons, the ones you gotta pull the swords out. There's like seven of them. Now, I'm just going to ignore all these skeletons. I'm just going to run and jump past them all and not even bother. Skeleton, you'll have some green dragons coming out of this cave here. And a bunch of paladins and knights up there along with more skeletons. Now, the trick to this one you need healing. Let me check it out. Oh, oh, I got all excited every second. 9,000, but nope. I just like to double check. Alright, let's keep going. The trick to this one is that no Hold it right there. That must have hurt. I hate those skeleton seers they're a pain in the butt hi <laughs> you know, my first playthrough was with the zero I'm having way more fun with Maya it's the siren character Okay, so you can see right there, that's the invisible gate. Now once you jump through here, all hell breaks loose. The skeletons pop up all over the ground. <coughs> You've got those friggin' brittle bone skeletons. Um, you got the ones with the swords in the back that you got to pull out. They are such a pain in the butt. So, now what you want to do is just kind of scoot forward. Well, okay, get rid of this guy here. See how they're popping up? Wow, they're okay. Grenade out! Okay, now. Now we got rid of these minor skeletons. Like I said, you just want to kind of sneak through a little bit. And here they come. 
should be about seven of these things. They're able to jump through the darn barrier. can't shoot through it. They can't get their weapons through it, but they can jump through it. Now the reason you want to do this is because over in the corner where I'm going to show you, you do not want these guys jumping on your butt. You'll be, they'll be knocking you back. Okay, it's number three. Wow. I was getting 45 experience points. I've been leveling up by doing this too. Three. Here's number four. Yeah, we're gonna get him to jump on this side. If it wasn't for these guys, that it wouldn't be that bad. But okay, three. That's four. Should have three more. Should be the last one. You'd be like, well, I'm going to jump in now. No, because while you can't see it, there's freaking skeletons all over the bloody place here. Alright, so now what we're going to do, switch to, let's see, yep, and we're going to unequip the grenade. So basically, your highest shield, no grenade, because you're going to be doing a grenade jump. Actually, you know what, do a quick save. Hug the wall all the way around to this end. I'm like, well, yeah, but you can't see him. Yeah, you're right, but. Muck, you got me. Darn it. Explosives! Oh shoot. I forgot to take me. Okay, now we're gonna put the B back on. 
Get our grenades back on. See? You can shoot through. There's no wall here, which is really weird. Okay, now. Those red dots are the kings. Here's your first king, right there. King Allah. Allah. Oh, Allah, I guess. Second king. Six hundred and fifteen. Now there's two. Seth. There's his head. Yeah. Okay, we have one more king who is hiding right there. Four kings. The rest of these things are just skeletons. That's it. Now we can just jump down and go get our spoils. And there you go. Wow. Notch weapons. Get it and get it in the video. Come on, come on, come on. All right, where was that other guy? Ah, oh, there he is. Now imagine if you if you had jumped down that wall, ran in there without like clearing out the magic guys. These giant skeletons, the kings would be coming after your butt. The magic, the guys with the sword that you gotta pull out, all these stupid skeletons we be popping up. The friggin' brittle archers, which... I mean, literally two shots and, like, my friggin' entire... Granted, I don't have the best shield in the world, but... Two shots and it's like, boom, now you're on my health. Okay, I do believe that is it. Okay. 
Okay, so there you go. The easy way to defeat the four skeleton kings. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if I don't make any, I'm going to be kind of a little bit busy, and Christmas is coming up. I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas. And you have fun, you know, you spend time with your family and your friends, and that's what it's about, enjoying each other's company. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.